Hi, this is Miley Bloxham, and this is a tutorial on four at a time flying geese. Um, we're doing this in coordination with our Plum Fusion Block of the Month because there are a lot of this four at a time flying geese that happen in the quilt, and we love it, we love it, we love it. This technique is awesome. So we're, be, we are going to be completing at our final cut uh, four and a half inches by two and a half inch flying geese. So we are going to start with a four, five and a half inch square. And these are three and an eighth inch squares. For the four at a time flying geese technique, you're going to need one of these and four of these. Okay. And yes, it is five and an eighth. If you do, I'm sorry, three and an eighth. If you do three and a quarter, um, you get little pieces of fabric where you don't want them. So you got to cut to the eighth. Sorry. Okay. So five and a half, three and an eighth. The first thing you're going to do is line up the squares on opposite corners. You're going to mark your center and then you're going to sew a quarter inch on either side. So you can't really see the light. Um, sewing on here, but if you look on the back side, that's my center. These are quarter inch seams on either side. And you're going to take this and you're going to cut it apart on that diagonal in between your seam lines. And then you're gonna take this piece, I'm gonna leave that there so you see what happens later, and you're going to iron these down. So once it's ironed, you're going to take your third piece, that is that three and an eighth inch square. You're going to mark the middle, sew a quarter inch seam on either side. And then again, you can see it here in the back. And you're going to cut these apart. And then you're going to do the same with this. So watch when I cut this apart. This turns into two flying geese. And when you do the same thing to this one, where you iron, put your little square on, sew your seam and cut it apart, you end up with four. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how I use um, my square in a square ruler to trim these up. We want two and a half by four and a half. You can use your regular ruler, uh, two and a half by four and a half. I'm going to use this 45 degree line, line it up along the side of this seam, and I'm going to slide this so that the four and a half inch line is on this seam, okay? This is on a seam line. This point, four and a half, is on this seam line. I'm gonna look here and I'm gonna make sure that that is approximately a quarter inch down from the two and a half. And that is going to be my first cut. Now, it, because we don't live in a perfect world and sew everything straight, you may have to make a few adjustments, but this mark here is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Yeah, I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this. And you're gonna trim, and then you're gonna turn that around, and you're gonna match your two and a half by four and a half, and do your next trims. Okay. That's with a regular ruler and a lot of crazy lines and a lot of crazy landmarks that you need to find. This is my square and a square trim tool, which if you've been doing quilts with me, you know this is the great love of my life ruler. We're gonna use this four and a half pieced square to trim our flying geese. And the way we're gonna do that is there's that pickle, there's that center, I'm gonna put that pico right on my point. 
and then I'm going to slide this so that this line and these registration marks are on that triangle. And then I'm going to trim. Oops. Then I'm going to turn my goose around. Goose. And I'm going to line up this point here right where you see my quarter seam allowance. This is the center line right on that point. This line here is my four and a half. And you'll see that this midline where my pico is, those points land right on the seams. It's like a miracle. And you square that and that goose is now four and a half inches by two and a half. Okay? You want to see it again? People want to see this again. <laughs> I can tell. You're like, oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Okay, you got your goose. You got your square and a square. You find the pico, the center. You put that right on the point. You have your diagonal lines. You're going to trim. You're going to turn the goose around. You're going to find that quarter inch and center point. Put that right on the point. You're going to line up the edge, your trimmed edge, with the four and a half line. And you're going to notice that this center line going horizontally lands on the seams. And then you're going to trim four and a half by four two and a half inch flying goose trimming using the eight inch square and a square trim tool. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in Plum Fusion where we're going to be using this technique next.